Yo, Tyrant Tales Spring Edition. My name is Nimsh, and I'm here with Raven, Alexander Raven Baguli. Good work. Nice. Nailed good, it. Good on the second name. Nailed yeah, it. Good work. And uh, we are here with uh, a show match for you. So it's Lothar versus Clutch. And uh, Lothar got banished. Or can we say banished? Yeah. I guess he fine. got banished from the casting couch to the pro player seat. Yeah, the, the playing area. Yeah, the playing cool. area. And he has to face the Twitch chat. Or at least a representative. Yeah, Lothar versus Twitch. Yeah, That's what kind the show of. match definitely is. Who do I send my energy now? Uh, I don't know. It's probably safer to send it to Twitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I think Lothar's got this. All right. And he's playing versus <laughs> Clutch, uh, who was... Uh, Looking the confident. Yeah, who, who was the... Uh, absolutely. Like, look at him. He's great. And um, he won the raffle. And You know, like many times I did type raffle in the chat, exclamation mark raffle, and it never worked. But for Clutch, it actually did. Yeah, it's a pretty big opportunity playing uh, against a well-known Hearthstone personality on stream uh, and going to be playing against some interesting decks is all I'll say. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Definitely. So they are playing a best of three uh, last year standing. Yep. And uh, can you spoil a bit what Lothar is playing? Uh, so if anyone's watched Lothar's streams before, they'll have a good idea of what he's actually bringing. Um, I'm... At first, we were looking at three decks, so not quite sure which ones he picked in the end, but I think uh, there's an interesting Hunter deck in there, if that's what he's taking. I think it's Hunter and Rogue he's brought, and uh, not the most common archetypes, is all I'll say. Okay, and uh, do we know anything about Clutch? Uh, I know he's from Germany, and uh, he did bring his own decks, but if you face Lothar on stream, just randomly being paired against him, what would you bring, Raven? Um, probably just Smoke decks. I would just take Face Hunter and Shaman. Why not? I just try and cheese him out of the game myself. But you can see the guys are going into the game now, and it does look like Lothar starting with his uh, very interesting Hunter deck. Yeah, so what is it? This is a Malagos deck, right? Yes, I believe so. How does it work? So um, all Lothar's going to want to do here is actually just keep the board clear and build up for those Malagos turns where you use things like Arcane Shot, um, potentially even Explosive Shot, and uh, Kill Commands to do uh, you know tons of damage uh, later on. But he is against uh, one of the favorite decks of a lot of people and one of the most popular decks at the moment which does like pretty standard secret paladin well wh why do we call it the pretty standard maybe there's uh, some improvements in the deck maybe some cards the, will actually surprise could well you. be i'm judging based off what i can see um so we do see the redemption and avenging hand which is going to be paired pretty well with this secret keeper um and the muster as well so to benefit off of the juggler for some extra damage so definitely got a few options there for clutch but Lothar's now going to try and work out what he really wants to do here. We might even see, like, coin into bow, because then he's, you know, got to feel pretty confident he can clear the juggler off this turn and then go into the uh, go into the second minion on the turn after. But he's yeah, just gone with hero power, so he's getting that paladin in as low as possible, as quick as possible, and then has to wait a few turns to get Malagos. This is so interesting, Raven, by the way, because this is the only hunter we're going to see today and probably till the end of the tournament. Nobody brought hunter, only Lothar, and he is on the casting disc. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's how low Hunter is at the moment. Um, I think the people who bring Hunter to the tournaments are the ones who really like it. Um, so you look like players like Orange has is, is, uh, been known for bringing uh, quite an aggressive Hunter list. Uh, and like, you know, Green Sheep's quite a big face Hunter player. But but yeah, um, Lothar bringing something a bit different to the table. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really curious to see how it will work, especially because of, of Flare in his hand. Uh, the Secret Paladin, if it gets flared, it doesn't feel good. And what's going to be a little bit interesting as well is how well does Clutch know Lothar? Has he watched his stream before? Because if he has, this deck shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Uh, but if he hasn't, it could be like, right, okay, so I'm going to play around uh, Juggler Unleash, you know, the, the typical Hunter things, which, uh, as you can see from Lothar's hand, definitely aren't in his deck. Well, Lothar can clear this board uh, possibly with a Pyromancer. The secret is Avenge, right? So if you go for Pyromancer into Coin... Then you kill the 1-1, one, one, Avenge does land somewhere, and then you can mm, Hunter's Mark that target. Yeah, I think the problem is if the Avenge goes on the... Let me think. Oh, no, he should be able to clear regardless, right? Yeah, so yeah. So if the Avenge goes on to the uh, Juggler, can he clear the 2-3 still? Well, the, the, I think the, best, one the best case is uh, if the Avenge goes on the Secret Keeper, and then you basically clear the whole board. Yeah. If it goes on the Knife Juggler, then it's troublesome. But Lothar decides to go for Eagle Hornbow which will be painful. Yeah, this is looking a little bit rough. He does have the heal bot. He could uh, potentially even coin it out next turn. 
to um you know to, to gain a little bit more from that and really rough outcome for Lothar there. He had a you know 50-50 with that avenge and it did go on the uh, just the one one making it even more and here's a blessing of kings for some true smoking value. Oh, uh, sh showing the hunter what it's like on the other end of that stick. Well met <laughs> from clutch. Nice. Uh, Lothar was probably keeping the Pyromancer by the way for uh, Master for Battle as well. So he didn't want to um, just lose his AoE possibility. But now he might have to do it not to take that damage. Hmm. Is there anything else he can do? Or will he have to attack him with that 4 free in the end? Yeah, it's a tough one. He can actually... Slam no mission Venter. Maybe he will draw something. <laughs> I'm working out if there's a way he can... Uh, depending on what traps he's playing. Uh, so he could actually like kill his own mad scientist as well. So and then bounce back if he's playing freezing trap. So we'll see what he actually ends up doing. This is going to kill off the uh, rather large secret keeper. He's going to drop the mad scientist and just kill off with the weapon. So yeah. Lothar rocking six health. Um, to be fair, Paladin doesn't have a lot of burst straight from hand. So he's probably feeling relatively safe at six. And he does have healbot to follow up with. So Lothar's definitely not out of it quite yet. Yeah, I wonder if uh, in what mindset he is at the moment, you know, uh, stressed? Is he getting stressed? Like getting the memories of when he played at DreamHack Bucharest, uh, facing Alec, you know, tough spots. <laughs> I think Lothar's fine. Lothar's okay. He's confident. Um, but this is definitely a rough position. The heal bot's going to make this a lot better, though, because he does still have the, uh, the Mad Scientist to proc as well. Unfortunately, he can't actually kill it off this turn. But I'm not quite sure which traps he plays, so... Also, like, look at Clutch. When you're Lothar just facing Clutch at the moment, look at those ominous eyes just staring at you without even blinking. Yeah, you're definitely not going to win this staring competition against Clutch here, are you? Yeah, the pink the pink ears, man. It's, it's impressive the fact that he can stare over the monitor at Lothar and still play. Absolutely. It's pretty good. Just never looking away, always keeping that eye contact. Lothar is closing his eyes. He just cannot face this stare. Gaze of death. Another Pyromancer is a nice pickup, though. It's just in time, let's say. Yeah, I mean, he could Pyro Flare and then run the 2-2 two -two into the 1-1. One -one. Um, yeah, I think that looks uh, pretty okay. He's going to coin Pyro first. Yeah, he didn't want both hits to, for the Pyro to die, actually, so that's fine. Yeah, also there was a, a chance to actually um, draw something that he can play, or at least use the hero power. Yeah, the, well, this weaves in the hero power, yeah. So th this is pretty okay. And yet again, he's feeling pretty safe at 6. Um, the Paladin does have the weapon to poke one every turn, but... Oh, a second muster is not too great, actually. Well, not too great, but uh, after you kill both Pyromancers. Or That's do true. you? I think he wants to try and see what this trap is, because if it's freezing, then obviously Lothab's good for stalling and, you know, looking out any spells. But if it's just going to get bounced, it becomes seven mana to play, which is really slow. You also might just have the kill, but uh, we know this is explosive at the moment. The trap might not be explosive. The trap is explosive because explosive was not playable. Uh, it was seven mana. Because the low type effect. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so yeah. it could it could could be explosive, could be double explosive. I tried again. to be smart, Raven. Yeah, and I shut <laughs> you down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, name shall right. be nicer. Uh, Mr. Challenger can actually finish the game quite nicely. Yeah, let's see. So that's you're right. Bear. You're okay. not right. Well you're kind of right. I said it wasn't explosive. <laughs> I think I'm pretty right. <laughs> that doesn't look like fire. It looks like a. Bear. You had a small range of mistake. <laughs> Come on, you just exploited it. Oh, look at the! Oh my God, look at that st stare! That is actually really scary from Clutch. Yeah. Look at that camera. I can't, no wonder Lothar's looking. Oh my God, a little bit what? That's what I mean. It's so scary. I, I'm getting, I'm getting like I know, goosebumps I almost, right now. Someone just cover this part of the screen. I can't deal with this. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> so now Lothar's definitely got to struggle for a way out here. Um, he just used flare as well, which was reasonable. But I bet he wishes he held onto it. Unless he draws another flare. Nope. Oh, another explosive. There is repentance, but we can't. To be fair, explosive does some work here. Yeah, yeah, it stops the Lothab at least. Oh no, it does it really because competitive spirit. Yeah, he'll he needs to kill off the Drake first though, because explosive will hit for three. Um, so yeah, it really depends how um how Clutch decides to play around this. He played, he did the the testing for bear trap very well. He attacked with the weapon, then had the minion to follow up to actually kill off the bear. If he did it the other way around, it, it would cause him some issues. Let's see what he does now. Is it possible that he will actually misplay and attack into that explosive trap, hoping that it, the minion will not die? Just test it with the weapon attack first. It's tough because if he de like yeah, that seems reasonable because what you're doing is he's setting up. It's lethal, right? You know, yeah. if, if it's not explosive. Um, then it's likely to be lethal if it was like oh, Lothar is so happy something. about it. And like, but Lothar, look, look at that little. Uh, 
I think I think actually Gladge blinked for a moment. <laughs> yeah, they just showed a slight, slight fear. But um, it's not a good position. He starts at 7-4 with Lothar only on 6 health and no heals at the moment. So that's definitely going to be dangerous. But he does have explosive and quick shot as well. So, you know, he, he can do some work and a second quick shot. Yeah. Oh, maybe. he can actually just potentially clear up here with, with the explosive. He's so close to killing Clutch as well. Clutch is already at 13. Oh, man. Can Lothar win this still? <laughs> like, is it possible? Yeah, I mean, he can just not attack because there's still Noble Sacrifice in the bench, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So he can just not attack, quick shot the Shredder, hope something reasonable comes out. Uh, quick, quick shot, shot the 7-4, Hero Power and Explosive Trap. Not bad. It's... Can Lothar actually just win this? Because this would be, <laughs> let's be honest, between us, because he can't hear us, this would be mildly ridiculous. Maybe uh, <laughs> Maligus Hunter is actually a thing. Maybe we've played it wrong for the whole time, Raven. Yeah, th this single game is going to cause the resurgence of Maligus Hunter on ladder. When, where does he want to avenge land overall? Uh, this is kind of tough. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know why he attacked there. Well, if there is a bad drop from Shredder, he can still survive this. Um, not anymore. So he still had a chance. Yeah, he should have actually quick shot it. Uh, he, he really wanted something else there. Yeah, he could have just not attacked and the hero powered instead. Because then everything would have died on the board. Um, it's not like the party has an option to just not attack versus Hunter. You know, you're definitely on the clock, especially at this point in the game. Absolutely. Look at Clutch, how happy he is. He is shaking out of excitement. Looks almost smug, doesn't he? Absolutely looking smug there. Let me think. Okay, so Lothar had the chance to survive, and actually, if he would clear this board, and he would clear this board, yep. there was only a secret keeper coming up next. So we can easily deal with the Avenge Noble Sacrifice if you have some kind of board or some kind of follow up. But now well it seems like well met, and there is going to be an attack for seven. Yep. <gasps> or is it DM? No, oh, okay. You always there. wonder how genuine these emotes are. It's like, oh, well met. No, it's not. Look at him there. Clutch not even sitting on the chair. It's too small. I just sit on the edge of the table. I really wonder where the energy is going from the Twitch chat at the moment. Is the energy going to Lothar or Clutch? Or is Clutch having the energy just to, <laughs> to begin with? It's, it's definitely a tough one. I mean, Lothar is a loved member of the community, but you know he is playing against a representative of Twitch chat, so I'm pretty sure everyone might be uh, pulling for Clutch here. And that, to be honest, that stare from Clutch would scare me enough to just say, yeah, okay, you have my vote. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so another match. Um, this time Lothar is bringing his... Mill Rogue. Mill Rogue. A really good choice, I would say, against uh, Paladin. You always want Paladin to have more fuel. Or, yeah, or, or it's not really. It, it, it saves the Paladin playing Divine Favor or anything like that. They can just gain extra cards because you're giving them to them. I think it saves uh, the time of you playing the showman. <laughs> it's yeah, just up the queue. Lothar's just valuing time here and just be like, yeah, okay, let's do this. Well, I have to give him that. He is playing interesting decks, that's for sure. And those decks are fun. I never yeah, and even uh, now, I mean, <laughs> you look at Lothar's hand and his deck overall, and then you look at this opening from Secret Paladin. And uh, I feel kind of bad for Lothar. With Secret Keeper, he can even coin out Noble Sacrifice if he feels he needs to, um, to make it less vulnerable to backstab. But he doesn't. He chooses to keep hold of it. He has double mini bot and uh, shredded. To follow can't up grab the Secret Keeper and then play all of them. <laughs> just consistently, just draw into them, right? It's a mill rock. You will draw them yeah, I mean, eventually. Sure, sure. And they'll be like, "Come at me, bro, with all the secrets." Eventually, you'll draw them unless the Paladin just kills you. Oh yeah, ruining the fun. I'm sorry. But uh, he didn't get the coin. That's uh, that's troublesome. If you look at the coin, this was actually a decent opening for the rogue. Yeah, he could have coined into SI7 agent, then had uh, you know multiple options next turn in terms of gang up or uh, you know, just weapon deadly poison, backstab the SI if he feels he needs to trade, and then get the extra two damage again. But the follow-up is probably going to be a mini bot here, and then potential of next turn either coin into shredder or just mini bot noble sacrifice. Yeah, I like oh, the noble just sacrifice noble right now. Out. Yeah, it protects the... Secret Keeper pumps one more damage in. So it's pretty decent. Uh, there is Bran Bronze Beard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this still feels. <laughs> this is not getting any better. Well, that's something he can play instead of the C uh, of the SI, at least. Okay, Lothar, what do you do? <laughs> you're you're staring at those random cards in the random deck you brought. And you're thinking, why did I bring this deck <laughs> to the show match? And you've got Clutch on the opposite side of the table just giving you that stare. 
definitely putting you off. Here we go. All right, here he goes for the face, or not really, just uh, taking his time. This is a tough moment for Lothar in his uh, pro gaming career. He's uh, at the verge of elimination, and if he gets eliminated, he will not participate in another show match today. Or ever again. Possibly. Yeah, I think... Oh, just hero power again, okay. There was a point of just playing Brand just to hopefully soak up the minions and try and uh, c you know, make the game go a bit longer, but this is definitely rough, especially when we're going to see just another minibot get played. And uh, how does Rogue actually even deal with this? Never mind fatigue, Rogue. Well, to be honest, uh, Raven, it's not something really unexpected when you play versus Paladin. Right? That's true. <laughs> if they it's don't, not like, if oh they my don't God, go secret, keep a secret, secret mirror, double <laughs> minibot, then it's just not Paladin, is it? Yeah. But at least he got the kill on the Seeker Keeper. So that's Does he now shadow step to protect his 3 3? Well, is the situation that dire? What about attacking one of the to do's? Just to at least have it <laughs> die. At least to do something. <laughs> yeah, you know, like they, they just clear the 3 3 easily. Not to mention that uh, Clutch has actually an okay curve. Yep, he had Shredder and then, you know, a bit of a pass turn five for the moment. But then Challenger into another pass. In. So he, he just needs, what, Belcher into Dr. Boom. And he's feeling pretty good. Divine Favor, a pretty good card if you know you're playing versus uh, Mill Rogue. Or, or wonder, not really. I wonder what Twitch chat thinks of that placement. Because I think the placement with the trade. Suddenly doesn't look so good anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> but you can place. So you got the initial placement right, Twitch chat. Hooray. I think Clutch plays really well. He shows up the skills. And uh, brought really good deck overall for this um, show match. I'm not sure if he's getting anything if he wins, but uh, he he gives uh, he gets my clap for sure. Yeah. And Lothar's respect. That's yeah. worth something itself. So th does it mean Lothar is going to, to get second again? Mm. Yeah, definitely. So this is uh, one of those turns. I think he's probably just push face at this point. Is it too much of it? Are you going to get punished too hard by leaving the SI up? I suppose it trades directly with the Shredder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, think you want so to kill killing it. it off seems fine, because you still keep hold of a 2-2. Two -two. Um, well, you are losing I'm that I'm just struggling how, how seriously to take this match when Lothar's like, <laughs> actually playing Mill Rogue. It's tough, right? Because it can actually work. Um, with, the, with the Hunter, he got really close to, to getting that board under control. Lothar is definitely taking it serious though. Like he is, um, he brought a fun deck, but he is respectful towards his opponent and he is trying to make the best plays possible. All right, um, there is a sap for pass for Shredder and um, he can also just clear the rest of the board. He can play Bron Bronze Beard this turn. Oh, he's going for Healbot instead. Yeah, I guess just to feel a little bit more safe. Um, and the problem with Bran as well is like it's very its abilities are very powerful, yeah. or his buff is very powerful, and it would just die straight up to to the um, to the shredder. Well, as well. if you, if you play if you play Bran, you sap, and if you don't play Bran, you keep the sap for, for the next turn because both of these contest uh, the free two. Oh, if he snipes this says I seven, Lothar is in trouble. Oh, he missed. He did miss that. Never lucky. Oh, here we go. Here comes Bran, cold light. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that will fill up the hand quite, ni quite nicely. And uh, does Lothar, Lothar play preparation? He does, obviously, right? So if he gets prep, I'm not sure. I can't. I can't, in all honesty, say I'm a you know proficient mill rogue player myself. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever played this deck. You haven't tested the deck before. No, I've, I've played against it, and it normally just frustrates me. So I think there's no reason to to not play prep in this kind of deck. Like you want to play cards a bit faster. So it triggers twice. Lothar getting a lot of burst. And he's just helping the Paladin as well, drawing to Boom, which is always nice. Mistress Challenger. Uh, just help fill out his curve. It's like, oh, you don't have Mistress Challenger yet? Let's draw four cards. Maybe you'll get one. But uh, if I remember, there was a Mistress Challenger in the hand. Yeah. No thank you? Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> the Clutch. good thing here is, like, either Clutch will have to trade in to the brand and then play Mysterious Challenger. Or if he doesn't, it means like you can do sap and then probably do some weird shenanigans. Because he can attack in with Bran, prop the secrets, and then hopefully the event will go on the Mysterious Challenge, and then you just sap it back into that hand. Is he weighing up not playing it? No, Mr. Challenger. Like, if you if you go for a board extension, then maybe you might be afraid of uh, 
of board clears. You don't know what love are true. Are you even familiar with this deck, being clutch? Have you played against it a lot on ladder? I don't know. I, I certainly haven't Pro faced it. Probably like, not. <laughs> like, honestly, the only times I see the Mill Rogue is either when I watch Lothar stream or Tides of Time stream. And that's, that's it. Like, I never faced it. Oh, m maybe once. I've seen it a couple of times at, like, start of the season. Sometimes it's hard to say if they're a Mill Rogue or not because they just die by turn 6. Because I never know, man. <laughs> I never you know. You just win too fast, Ninja. We should play Contra Warrior instead. <laughs> and then actually have trouble against the deck. So there's a full tree coming out from Mr. Challenge, and again with the BM. Just waiting for the rogue to finish, right? It's kind of like mirroring Life Coach. It's saying, hey, I'm like Life Coach, man. Or maybe he wants to get recruited to G2 by Lothar. What better opportunity would he have? That's true, yeah. Just Sh show what you're made of in a show match against the very guy. Has Repentance didn't do much. But Lothar has options. He's at 19. He was able to draw a lot of cards. He still has Ganga up. He has Shadow Step, so he can get as many Cold Light Oracles as he wants in the deck. And, um, yeah, I, I think he looks all right. Yeah, I think he looks fine. He can, um, it depends how, it depends how slow he wants to play this. He can weapon up, attack in, prop the secret, because you know it's going to go in onto the challenger and then snap it back. Yeah. Uh, and then just, re you know, reduce the, the value on that card. And then just follow up with what, I mean... Well, he didn't get Vanish yet, but uh, if he gets to Vanish, he'll be able to, to get rid of the bigger board. Yeah. I guess, is is there a point just doing gang up on the uh, Cold Light here? I uh, Yeah, you can gang up and then you can Shadow Step it. Because, like, this is the main card you basically want in the deck. Yep. Like, you have a lot of free spells. But I, f I would have to say, like, Lothar is in a good position here overall. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Clutch is starting to feel a bit tense about all those emotes. Look at that! He lost Divine Favor! No! Oh no! <laughs> How can he use it now? Both are already counting cards. Is counting ca cards illegal in Hearthstone? I'm uh, sure. In our games, it's not. Yeah, considering <laughs> the game tells you how many cards is left, I, I think it's probably okay. It might be against the uh, Terms of Service in that uh, show match. Next time we should have Lothar sign the document. <laughs> like, you cannot do this and that. And this is kind of funny now because Clutch has been forced to not play Boom on 7 because he just needs to mm. play cards and empty his hand as quick as possible because he knows there's still that cold light that was shadow stepped in his hand. Um, so we're probably going to see what the, the weapon, the secrets, the squire. Yeah, but he did actually draw most of the good cards he has in the deck. Plus, uh, he's seen one sap. So he knows there is one more sap for Tyrion, but after that he will be able to replay it. Okay, so a lot of small minions just to try to empty his hand, but he's still at 6. And if Lothar gets Cold Light Oracle, that will mean he can burn one more card. Whoa, baby! <laughs> <laughs> burn uh, when the draw happens, right? Because there's 6 plus 4, 10. Yep. It's one off being able to play the heal bot as well as both those, though. What is he waiting for? Just slam it. Play it. What, so what can he draw into now with that one mana called light like, that's going to be good for him? Well, he doesn't even need Vanish, right? Uh, he can... There is a Redemption, though. There is no Noble Sacrifice. Is that a, is there a Redemption? What are the secrets? Uh, yeah, I think it's Redemption of Venge. Okay. I think. So okay. he can stop this board with a simple Death Lord overall. Another Gang up. Oh, he's going for Eviscerate, but there is uh, Redemption, as you said, and Avenge. So this is putting a lot of power on board. Oh, no Redemption. Oh, it's not Redemption. Okay. okay. Raven, you cheated me. I'm sorry. Raven What's lied. the secret? How did we... To be honest, there's so many cards flying competitive everywhere and sp Competitive Spirit. Like, he did draw a lot of cards. It's not Repentance. Like, we've seen Repentance already. We've seen... Uh, have we seen Competitive Spirit? We've seen one Mysterious Challenger, so this can be... Wow, that's a good question, because it, it has to be a second secret that never proc. Okay, the competitive spirit, because it never proc. Mystery Stranger went back to hand. So it was just oh there. Oh, yeah, so it'll be comp spirit, there. yep. I wonder. And again, Clutch is going to have to see how many cards he can empty his hand <laughs> with uh, in, in, the, in the short amount of uh, turn he's got left. So. Yeah, and how do I kill Lothar overall? Yeah, he's always just going for Dr. Boom, okay. Oh, yeah, he can squeeze the Squire in as well, so that's yeah. kind of okay. Frees up two spaces in his hand. 
And uh, and yeah, I mean, I guess you just attack the 2A, makes uh, potentially killing off the Death Lord with bombs uh, good. But the good thing here for Lothar is that if the Death Lord dies, there isn't really too much left for Clutch look in terms of big threats. Look at the advantage there. And he has the mana to actually destroy everything, right? If he goes for Cold Light Oracle into Vanish. Is that the thing you want to do? Three, six, seven. He has seven cards in hand. But Dr. Boom was played first. So Dr. Boom will probably go to hand and the rest of the cards will get destroyed. So that's not that good. Um, he has the Beacon Hunter, though, obviously, as well. This is a really interesting deck, though. Like, I, I, I want to play it. Oh, though. God. <laughs> Please don't. So there's so much no. thinking. I like it. I like it. It's a lot of fun. And the cards that you normally don't play don't play around or don't play with, like, like Gang Up and Vanish. So he's going to go for the big game on here, which is pretty good. You know, there's not too many targets. You can actually PGH, so you may as well use it. You can squeeze in the heal bot as well and just be a little bit more secure. There's only two boom bots that we know is going to get both from competitive spirit, but still not not a major threat to the board at the moment. And you even want them to kill the Death Lord because that's one more card off the deck and you start counting damage with fatigue. Lothar doesn't even care about going for phase. I mean, if he squeezes some, some damage in, that's fine. But he doesn't have to. He's just counting how many cards will burn. And fatigue well damage met. can be really terrifying at some point. Yep, the well met from Uther there as the boom bot snipes the 3-3 uh, three, three heal bot. And um. Yeah, kind of a rough one again. It's really weird playing against this deck because you want to just like splurge out your hand onto the board and try and get ahead. But we can see that there's, you know, there's the vanishing hand that's just going to negate all of that. Um, if you just play Tyrion, it's probably just going to get dealt with as well, either vanished or... I think we've seen both saps now. If Lothar wins this, we'll see another match with the new rogue. Get, get comfortable, <laughs> Nims. Get comfortable. We may be here for a while. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just enjoying the show. Who wants to watch? Who wants to watch Swiss anyway, right? Yeah. Who wants to watch anything that isn't Milk Rogue? <laughs> so he did get the Shredder out the Death Lord, which is actually really good. Um, one of the better minions he had left, I imagine. I think there's a lot, a lot of uh, lower drops he could have drawn that would have been less impactful. But now, we're, are we just going to see Vanish? Vanish is pretty good. Lothar counting damage. Can he actually not Vanish this? Three cards? Was it three? I think it was three cards left. Yeah, I, th I think he, I think he has to vanish because he, I think that's fourteen damage on board from a quick count. Yeah. Uh, so it takes him to three. So you die to so much if you don't. And vanish like all of the one ones go in the hand as well, right? So in theory, uh, if he goes cold light oracle vanish, uh, he won't hit fatigue damage yet. But if he gets uh, three cold lights there, there will be f there will be a fatigue damage with the next cold light. And this is six cards, so how much damage is that? One, three, uh, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one. Let's see what gets burnt, muster. What? Um, <laughs> Did I miss something with the angry chicken? Is that what happens when you have no minions left? Wait, what? There was an angry chicken? You actually put an angry chicken in the deck? Yeah, we're not, we're not wrong here, right? Oh, he's an actually angry chicken in his deck. He thinks he's good. No, it doesn't think he's good. He just wanted to show it on stream. While winning versus Lothar. What? Oh my god. Clutch is so good. Can Lothar survive this next turn? That's the key question. If Lothar loses versus the deck with angry chicken. Clutch is saying something. Like, Clutch is conveying a message here. <laughs> Secret Paladin. It's all in the eyes as well. It's good enough to win with an angry chicken instead of... What did he swap? Like, is he not playing Belcher? I don't know. <laughs> I actually just don't know anymore. The The game is so strange that I've not been able to keep track of all the cards that have been burned. Can Lothar, Lothar can still win this, or is it too much? No, I th think it's... So he goes five. So oh, yeah, he can still win this. It depends. I think it depends what the Boombot does. Okay. So this is um, three, five, six, seven damage... Or eight damage and then some some pinging. Okay. Yeah, Boombot needs to go for phase for like three to four. So we can attack uh, to eight. Well, Lothar is what was that? Lothar is thinking about. Oh, he went for the Boombot. That's smart, actually. That's a really good move. Yeah, that was perfect for Lothar. So Lothar can maybe still take it. Yeah, what do you need to draw? 
Come on, Lothar, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Well, this is not lethal yet, right? But you still attack into the 2-8 um, with 5-5, um, 2-1, five, five, 1-1, one, one, and then you go 6 to face. Mm. And can you play... Well, you can do juggle, silver hand, silver hand, card camo for an extra 1. 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's actually lethal. Yeah, that's... I think he's found it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he didn't. He missed Oh, he would have got an additional juggle from the death lord as well, probably. No, he doesn't have minions in deck. Oh yeah, of course he's got none left. <laughs> what, what, what am I talking about? This match has just blown my mind. Honestly. Yeah, but he did miss lethal, right? Like if he would go for Cog Hammer and uh, three juggles, that was basically it. Like yep. two juggles, Cog Hammer. This guy doesn't care about lethal nymphs. Well, he's, he's out to compete, uh, completely humiliate Lothar on stream. Well, he didn't play Angry Chicken, so <laughs> that didn't work work fully. Lothar, what does Lothar need? He needs a Cold Light Oracle into Cold Light Oracle. Would that be enough? That's not a Cold Light Oracle. Come on, Lothar. You can do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working out if there's anything else. He can draw one more time with five knives, but only leaves him with four mana. Yeah, so, well, Cold Light Oracle and basically that's it. Preparation <laughs> after throwing away a uh, fan of knives. Oh man, that doesn't feel good. Yeah, seems that it's basically it. Yep, Tyrion still stands. Oh, if you close, it was close. Chance. Yeah, if you get Cold Light Oracle, like one Cold Light Oracle was enough, I think, because that would be plus nine damage, and then he dies. Yeah, co one Cold Light Oracle was was it. Did he have any left? Because he only ganged up once, right? I can't remember how many. We've seen too many Cold Light Oracles for my liking in any given um, game. Yeah, I think he had one at least because he did gang up, so that that makes... Uh, he plays two to begin with. Oh, wow. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? He killed himself with Divine Favor. He wants that extra match versus Lothar. Oh, my God. Lothar actually won. What? <laughs> so now he has to play it again. <laughs> 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 Lothar is confused. What yeah. is happening? He looks extremely happy with the outcome. So um, I think that match was really well played by both sides. And um, we've seen Clutch, as we can see on screen. Uh, he's an absolute top form. Um, and Lothar, you know, uh, he did plan for that exactly. He knew that at that last moment, Clutch will actually uh, kind of lose himself and, and want to draw a couple more cards maybe. Yeah, like, he just got too excited. Yeah, absolutely. He just You kind of want to show, hey, I had a different favorite. Oh. I, did I actually play it? Didn't oh. count that fatigue. <laughs> it's like you know, it's like in physical card games, you just show to to your uh, opponent what you had in hand, and Clutch was like the same. It's like, hey, I had I had different favor and lethal. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels bad. So the last game is going to be Clutch's Druid versus Lothar's Milrogue. How do you think this matchup goes? As I feel you've got more experience with Milrogue than I have. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think. Um, when you get the ramp, it's, it's really good for Druid because um, Mill Rogue will be able to sap some stuff. But uh, if you have a really good ramp opening, you will just you will be able to play everything you want. Yeah, and I think double wild growth, innovate, double shredder seems pretty pretty okay for an opening Druid hand. Yeah, Druid is just saying like, allow me to draw more cards. I want my innervates, and I want to slam my combo a bit earlier. Why not? Yeah, and if like, oh, I, I missed my combo part. Oh, I got it. Thank you so much, Mr. Rogue. Or Mrs. Rogue. Well, Lothar does have um, some pretty good cards coming up, though. He can Deadly Poison to SI next turn, so potentially clear off this Shredder if we see it dropped. Um, he starts Backstab, Double of this, so he's got pl plenty of stuff to do, and uh, can can deal with the Shredder pretty easily, we hope. Well, if that's Milhouse Mana Storm, 2 free is fine, though. Uh, cannot kill the Backstab, but Backstab SA7 should be enough. Yeah, yeah I think you just do this to put, put a minion on the board, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Lothar is missing card draw, though. He has uh, no okay hands to be able to survive and, and pressure. But this is a mid rogue. You need uh, card draw. You need them cold lights. Yes, you do. Into gang up. So last game was actually pretty good for Lothar overall. I think he got the cards he wanted. And he won? Yeah, he did. So Lothar's got to be able to deal with at least the first half of the Shredder. The only scary thing is what comes out afterwards, but he does have a Viz to clean it up, so he's gonna actually go for the Viz first, just save some health. Yeah, not um, to take the damage. Potentially clear up the minion. Yeah, this is pretty clean. Worked out pretty well. Prep, eviscerate face. 
to assert dominance. <laughs> I think, you know what, against this guy, this could be a bad play. <laughs> Clutch did a misplay with his Divine Favor, so that caused him to lose the last set. So maybe something like that would work. Absolutely. Clutch is feeling too smug at the moment. Oh man, Death Lord versus Druid. It's like, oh, thank you for my 5-5 five five or 7-7. Seven seven. Hey, the Druid's got to kill it first. Do you think Lothar is struggling or is he ahead? I think he's good. I think he performed well last game. He got a decisive win, which was key. I was and, um, and, uh, that yeah, was an overkill last, last yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, th I think he can take it. Although we see the boom from Clutch, pretty uh, pretty reasonable play on this board. Can di directly challenge the Death Lord and hopefully, as you said, get one of the bigger minions out of it. Okay, he's thinking about it. It's a floating boom for the moment. You know, you want to always think if you want to play boom or not, because he also has Ancient of Lore, so he might go for that. But uh, after uh, some time, you realize that, hey, this is Dr. Boom, it's good, it's good. He might be waiting for the rope, or he might also uh, got disconnected. What do you think that is? I think he's just playing full mind games, I don't know. Although I'm not sure you can make a card hover there. <laughs> oh, no, there we go, he can do it. Clutch can do anything, All right. he doesn't care. He was just waiting for a rope. Okay, and our preparation, so we are in Rogueland, or uh, rather Rogue Hell. This happens many times before, and uh, this is a show match, so you can laugh it off, but I actually seen it happen in the finals a couple of times. <laughs> of an actual tournament with prize money. <laughs> of an actual... Well, this is super serious for Lothar, what are you on about? Um, yeah, this is definitely a rough hand, especially when you include Shadow Step in the mix. It's just not going to do too much. He could have attacked in to the, uh, to the boom with the, with the Death Lord, played Shadow Step. And then uh, replay that again. That was always yeah, a, just a, a play to think about. Yeah, absolutely. Just chip not away at the Doctor Boom. Well, not many minions can actually attack the Doctor Boom, survive until the story. Exactly. But Death Lord is one of them. Just to remind you guys, uh, all the people who are joining us right now, we have Lothar, one of our uh, one of us casters, uh, playing a show match versus Clutch, who won the raffle on Twitch chat. So we had a raffle on Twitch chat that actually worked, and Clutch was the lucky winner to face Lothar in this. Amazing show match, Lothar bringing most competitive decks that he could find on his account and trying to do his best. Yeah, so I think what Clutch has got to think about now is how he can actually potentially throw this game when he's this far ahead. Uh, I think that's going to be really difficult and going to be a, a true show of skill if he can manage to do this. Well, he can just not attack for a couple of turns. Not attack for 10 turns. Yeah. But that would be that would probably be too much, right? Like w when you play a show match, you also want to show a good side of yourself. And so far, I think Clutch showed great sportsmanship, playing Angry Chicken in the Paladin deck and then killing himself to give um, himself a chance to play one more game versus well Lothar. Played. But uh, that will be enough, I believe, with the shape shift. He might okay. Oh. He attacks. No, well, this is key. Can he aim the shape shift? Uh, yeah, I think so. so. Oh, he did it. He did it, he did it. Really nice. And Lothar gets defeated by a stuffed animal. Uh, I think that's... Uh, Says it all, really. Yeah, ask, right? Is there even a moral to the story? Yeah, there's, there's a reason where the cast is, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So uh, are we going to welcome Lothar for uh, a loser's interview? Does oh, he have do a we, mic? Do we have a, do we have a mic? I, you probably need a, need a mic. I don't yeah, even know if there is a headset. But, um, yeah, welcome Lothar. Uh, so Lothar cannot communicate with us, but we can talk to him at the moment. There is no headset. There is no headset, yes. Uh, there is no mic. Wait, there's a mic. It's actually hidden. All right. Just <laughs> move. Uh, you did really well. Um, <laughs> you think you did I think you did really well. And uh, Lothar will join us in just a moment. You're back? Can you hear me now? No, I can't. I don't know. I oh. can hear you now. Perfect. Okay. okay. So uh, tell us through the matches and... Um, you planned for that Divine Favor really well. Like, you, we probably predicted that he has Divine Favor. Well, he didn't have the Mysterious Challenger the whole game until he top it before he played it, right? In yeah. the first game. This is why I didn't keep the Flare in my hand. Because I was like, yeah, he would have played it already. So I can use the Flare to destroy the one. Oh, wait, so we are back to the Hunter game. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, you mean, uh, you mean Divine Favor yeah, in but the second game? It's fine. Let's talk about the first game. The first game was yeah. pretty impressive. Um, you actually had an opportunity to clear the board, quick shot Pilot Shredder, quick shot the Mistress Challenger, play Explosive Trap, not attack into minions, mm -hmm. and then you would not die. But you decided to attack first. Yeah, I, I, went, I went for, for the, the win, win game. Okay. Because if I would actually go through with the attack, and uh, I had a chance to kill him this turn, right? Because Explosive Trap was lethal. And that was basically it. I had eight mana, Explosive Trap, two quick shots, and hero power. 
And I was exactly 11. I, to be honest, I can't remember like when was the trap Secret Wars being played. So I wasn't sure if that's Noble Sacrifice or not. I wasn't really paying attention. So, you know. Um, sure. Uh, I just I, I just really regret playing the the flare before he top deck the Mr. Challenger. Because that, if I would have kept it, because if, if I wouldn't be sure that the last card isn't, uh, Mrs. Challenger, then I would have kept it and played after the Mrs. Challenger would have been awesome, right? To destroy the whole tree and stuff. Uh, but couldn't do that. So that that was the one thing. And it's kind of unfortunate with the uh, with the opening that I couldn't play the Pyromancer Gilt because he had the mis uh, um, he had the Masterful Battle. Yeah. Just didn't go for it, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. You would have Tough. to play around Pyromancer and Coin and... That's that's a really cool story, but Raven, <laughs> do you have any questions for Lothar? Uh No, just um, you know, you did well. Don't yeah, be yeah, don't be too upset. The guy, <laughs> the guy, <laughs> see. <laughs> 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 right? Well, just oh, I don't. You look like you take well, it very seriously. Yeah, well, <laughs> you well I'm, I'm trying. You know, I'm playing fun, fun decks, decks, but that, that doesn't mean I can just throw in every card. You finished that's second. That's something, yeah, right? Yeah, I finished second. I'm sure I have like some points. And uh, uh, some, some cash, cash prize, prize, and a mascot, and some, some new fans, fans and, and it's a win-win. It's absolutely a win-win. All right, guys. So we're done with the show match for now. And after that, we'll be showing you more of the Swiss, of the Tavern Tales, $20,000 tournament. Uh, Lothar gets a handshake, I guess. Not from, the, uh, not from Clutch, but um, he did well. From the mascot. From the mascot. Yeah. You did yeah. the handshake from the mascot? Yeah, yeah actually, actually, you know, reached, reached out, out for the handshake, handshake but I was, I was denied. denied. Oh, <laughs> like Al like Alish. Yeah, feels <laughs> bad, man. History repeats itself. So. <laughs> <time, so. laughs> Definitely. Okay, guys, stay tuned for more Hearthstone after a short break.